People choose tiny phones because they are powerful, speedy, and have a long battery life while being as thin as possible. Fortunately, smartphone makers have succeeded in addressing this apparently contradicting desire, as proven by some of Samsung's prior models. According to recent reports, the Korean tech giant intends to debut the Samsung Galaxy S25 as one of its thinnest cell phones since the Note 20 Ultra. If a recent leak is correct, the Galaxy S25 Ultra might be inspired by an unexpected source. According to a recent leak, more details about the Galaxy S25 Ultra have been revealed, including a surprising potential basis for certain design changes. According to renowned tipster Ice Universe, the S25 Ultra will have a body thickness of 8.4mm, making it the thinnest Samsung Ultra model we've seen since the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, which had an overall thickness of 8.1mm despite having a larger camera bump than most others. Interestingly, Ice Universe confirmed a recent leak that the Galaxy S25 Ultra will have a more rounded design than other phones, suggesting it would be as round as the Galaxy Note 7 from 2016. However, there is no evidence of a curved screen being reintroduced, as Samsung seems to have moved on from that design choice. Some of our younger viewers may not remember the Galaxy Note 7, which is not unexpected given Samsung's efforts to disassociate itself from the device over the years. While the phone offered several fantastic features, such as increased spend compatibility and high-quality cameras, it also had a major flaw. Samsung officially recalled the phone in 2016 owing to a significant design problem in the batteries that caused overheating and, in some cases, explosions, however, it looks that Samsung will not use that particular design into their future Ultra variant. Despite maintaining the criticized decreased telephoto lens from the Galaxy S24 Ultra, the new 50-megapixel output is a significant improvement. Rumors concerning the chipset abound, with some claiming Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 and others suggesting MediaTek. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without been said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.